We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. Thirty years after its inception, the James Webb Space Telescope JWST was finally launched from French Guiana on Christmas Day two years ago. As a journey through space, it passed the moon on December 28th and on January 24th, fired its engines for five minutes to settle into its final orbit, 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. After months of meticulous setup, the telescope captured its first image on July 12th of last year, revealing distant galaxies as they existed more than 13 billion years ago. Since then, Webb has continued to expand the frontiers of astronomy, ushering in a new era of cosmic discovery. Its latest images serve as a haunting reminder of both humanity's immense capacity for exploration and its utter insignificance in the grand scheme of the universe. Seeing the past through light, telescopes do not literally look back in time, but rather capture light that has traveled undisturbed for millions or even billions of years through the vast emptiness of space. This means that when Webb observes a distant galaxy, it has not seen the galaxy as it is now, but as it was millions or billions of years ago, when the light first left its stars. To understand this, consider an old photograph of your daughter as a baby. Looking at the printed image today does not mean you are seeing the past. Rather, you are observing the light patterns reflected from the ink on the photograph, which has remained unchanged over time. Similarly, the light reaching web from ancient galaxies carries a frozen imprint of their past, allowing scientists to reconstruct what the universe looked like in its infancy. However, light does not always travel unaltered. As the universe expands, Light from distant galaxies stretches into longer wavelengths, a phenomenon known as redshift. Fortunately, scientists can account for this redshift, adjusting the data to reconstruct an accurate picture of the galaxies as they were billions of years ago. Unveiling the Earliest Galaxies Recent discoveries made to the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JADES, have uncovered hundreds of previously unseen galaxies from just 600 million years after the Big Bang. These young galaxies, teeming with star formation, provide invaluable clues about the universe's early structure. If we compress the entire history of the universe into a two-hour movie, we are now seeing the very first five minutes, explains Kevin Hainline, an assistant research professor at the Stewart Observatory in Arizona and lead author of this groundbreaking study. By analyzing Webb's data, Scientists have identified 717 newly discovered galaxies, each spanning thousands of light years and forming stars in dense clusters. Before Webb, early galaxies appeared as mere faint smudges, but now we can observe their intricate structures in stunning detail. The Epoch of Reionization Lighting up the Dark Universe One of the greatest mysteries of early cosmic history is how the dark, chaotic universe became the transparent expanse we see today. This transformation, known as the Epoch of Reionization, began around 400,000 years after the Big Bang and lasted for nearly a billion years. Scientists believe that the first generation of stars, massive brilliant beacons 30 to 300 times the mass of our sun, emitted intense ultraviolet radiation, ionizing hydrogen atoms and illuminating the universe. However, some researchers suggest that outflows from supermassive black holes may have played a significant role in this cosmic awakening. A second team within the Jade's collaboration has now provided compelling evidence that star formation in early galaxies was the primary force behind this transformation. By studying galaxies that existed between 500 and 850 million years after the Big Bang, they found that one in six galaxies displayed extreme star formation activity producing torrents of ultraviolet radiation. The strange shapes in Webb's images, a cosmic illusion. When Webb released its first deep field image in July 2022, many were struck by the distorted, elongated shapes of distant galaxies. Some appeared warped or duplicated, resembling surreal Salvador Dali paintings. However, these bizarre formations are not real. They are an optical illusion caused by gravitational lensing, First predicted by Albert Einstein over a century ago, gravitational lensing occurs when a massive object, 
such as a galaxy cluster, bends and magnifies the light from objects behind it. This effect can make a single galaxy appear multiple times in the same image or stretch into arc-like shapes. Though these distortions may seem like mere curiosities, they are actually powerful tools for astronomers. Lensing allows scientists to observe galaxies that would otherwise be too faint to detect, providing unprecedented views of the early universe. It also helps researchers map the distribution of dark matter, an invisible substance that shapes the cosmic web. A scorching exoplanet, water on WASP-18b, beyond distant galaxies, Webb is also revolutionizing our understanding of exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars. One of its most remarkable findings is the discovery of water vapor in the atmosphere of WASP-18b, an ultra-hot gas giant located 400 light-years from Earth. This planet is 10 times the mass of Jupiter and orbits its star at an extreme distance of just 3.1 million kilometers, so close that its atmosphere reaches temperatures of nearly 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 2,760 degrees Celsius, hot enough to break apart most water molecules. Yet, Webb's extraordinary sensitivity allowed astronomers to detect the faint remnants of water, a feat that previous telescopes, including Hubble and Spitzer, were unable to achieve. WASP-18b is also tidally locked, meaning one side permanently faces its star, while the other remains in eternal darkness. Webb's observations map dramatic temperature variations across the planet, revealing that the day side is up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,100 degrees Celsius hotter than its twilight zone. This suggests that an unknown force, perhaps a strong magnetic field, may be hindering heat distribution across the planet. A sandstorm planet, VHS 1256b, another exoplanet, VHS 1256b, located 40 light years from Earth, offers an even more extreme environment. Here, scorching sandstorms rage through the planet's atmosphere, where temperatures reach 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, 815 degrees Celsius. Webb's infrared sensors detected tiny silicate particles, essentially microscopic grains of hot sand whirling through the clouds. Over time, these particles condense and fall as molten sand rain, making this world one of the most hostile environments ever observed. A new era of cosmic discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope is rewriting our understanding of galaxy formation, cosmic evolution, and exoplanet atmospheres. Through gravitational lensing, infrared imaging, and unparalleled sensitivity, Webb has given us a window into the universe's most distant past and unveiled phenomena we never imagined possible. From revealing the birth of the first galaxies to uncovering the mysteries of distant exoplanets, Webb is not just a telescope. It is a time machine, a portal to the origins of everything we know. Stay tuned for more breathtaking discoveries as we continue our voyage through the cosmos.